Travel chaos along the East Coast after part of one of the nation's busiest interstates collapsed in Philadelphia. A section of I-95 buckled under a tanker truck after a tanker truck erupted in flames underneath the highway Sunday morning. So this is expected to take months to repair, impacting traffic up and down the Mid-Atlantic at the start of the very busy summer travel season. Yeah, and I mean, it's already busy this time of the year. Right. Now this is like a double whammy for Philadelphia. ABC's Lindsay Watts has the story. It's coming out the middle, too. You can see it. Terrifying moments for drivers before a crucial overpass on I-95 gave way in Philadelphia. This major interstate highway turning to an inferno. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, my God. The Coast Guard confirms a tanker truck capable of carrying 8,500 gallons of gasoline ignited Sunday morning underneath the overpass. The northbound lanes of I-95 crumbling to the roadway below. Oh, my God, the road's falling. Lisa Terramino, an ER nurse, was on her way to work. It felt like, like if you were driving and you hit a really big pothole and the whole entire road just sunk down. The damage here is stunning, impacting a major East Coast corridor for commuters and goods. Before now, 160,000 drivers traveled that stretch of road every day. Officials say so far there are no reported injuries or deaths, but there is one vehicle still trapped under the collapsed roadway, with authorities trying to determine if the driver was able to make it out. Remarkable devastation. Pennsylvania's governor says reconstruction will likely take months. Officials now looking at interim solutions to connect both sides of the interstate. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says federal highway officials are now on the ground. We want to support with any data we have, any analysis that we have, uh, and any people that we have who can be uh, part of the solution. According to a Homeland Security report reviewed by ABC News, gasoline from the tanker truck flowed into storm drains. Federal and local officials now working to determine if there are any environmental impacts. Lindsay Watts, ABC News, Philadelphia.